So I'm back on a 1946 Dodge and I just got done putting one of the hood sides on and uh, welding all the tabs onto the framework. And so this is pretty much uh, finished for the most part other than the area right above the fenders. And I'll get to that later but first I need to get the fenders all straightened out and uh, get them stuck onto the side of the cab before I can add the piece onto the hood. So I put the hood back on. I just set it on. I didn't actually bolt it on at all. You can see it lines up pretty good. pretty happy with it. And so now I'm going to move on to this uh, rear of this fender over here. And over here, I had done some welding and I got it way too hot. And then it warped. So I think I'm just, and I can't get behind there to dolly it. Like that top hole there, I did some dolly work and that worked out real nice. But down where those other holes were, I couldn't dolly it. So. I'm just going to cut that out and put another piece in and keep blowing air on it to keep it cool so I can keep it cool enough I can touch it so it doesn't warp. So what you see here is the uh, piece of the cab there that's underneath of the fender and I finally got fed up with it and I cut it off because it's just really warped and no matter what I tried to do I couldn't get the thing straight and plus it has this big rust line right here where the fender used to sit and it just got to the point it wasn't worth working on so I cut it off and I'll show you what I'm trying to do that's different now. So now you can see I cut a piece of new sheet metal and I've been fouling at it with a flat file and I'm going to get it to fit as good as I possibly can so that I have almost no gap and what I'm going to do is when I have that piece out of there I'm going to put some sheet metal between the outside skin and the uh, support in there so it will hold this whole surface right here at exactly the right height when I compare it to the door and I'll get all the waves out of it and everything before I weld this piece in. Okay so I took a couple pieces of that three-quarter inch uh, 16 gauge tubing and I stuffed them up in there and welded those on and so that gave me some structure to this the side of this cab and uh, this area right here is right where it's gonna bolt on so this whole area I'm welding on is going to be the area that's bolted there, there, there. And I'll run uh, three more tubes on there. So I'll have a total of five tubes supporting that fender. So there's my patch panel all tacked in. I don't know if you can really see the how straight it is. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of waves to it. About a 32nd of an inch. Should be able to, they're all pretty much low spots. So should be able to fill them in with some filler. So I replaced my panel and I did it with a whole bunch of tack welds and kept it cool so I could get my hand on there at all times so it didn't distort too much. I'm going to have to pull on it in a couple spots and uh, get one dent out on the top which I might have to put a support on there just to give it a little more, a little more support so the wave doesn't pop back in. Other than that it seems pretty good. So now I'm going to lay my fender out and uh, cut the holes in it so that I can, what I'm using to support the fender and put those tubes in from the outside panel to the inside panel. So I got about a 3 16 of an inch warp to that piece I just welded on and I'm going to try to pull it out with that chunk of junk down there that I put a quarter inch bolt on to that and I'm going to use my buzz box because I'm out of argon and I'm going to weld that on right there right on that corner try to yank that out of 3 16 of an inch. Okay, I yanked that out. And there's a little bit of a gap down below, up here where the uh, where you can actually see it above the fender. It's uh, pretty good and pretty straight. Pretty happy with it. And you can see I am welding on that little piece of junk onto the lower part down here. It had about an eighth inch dip, and uh, I'm not the greatest at MIG welding. I don't use that welder much. Okay, so I bolted that fender on there. I have the tubes put back in. I got pretty good support. I got right now I got three five sixteenths bolts holding it on, and you can see it's it's a little bit flimsy out here. I don't have it bolted to the uh, running board. I may stick an additional support off the running board support down below, but I need to connect this piece here over onto these two uh, bolts, and I think I'm going to stick another one up up into this area up here so I can kind of support it up here also and then it should be pretty firm and I should be able to put the 
put up and down and have it hit properly, hopefully. So I added these quarter inch rods and welded them into that piece of plate that I made there. That I bolted onto those two bolts I had sticking out of the side of the cab. And uh, that added a lot of structure. It's, it's really solid now and I don't, I don't even have it bolted down in the back uh, onto the running boards yet. So I think it'll be really good. So I'm just going to put the hood down and see how that is. All right, so put the fender or the whole hood down, and you can see the fender's lining up pretty good. It's a, it's a little off here and there. Uh, keep in mind that that's only a wafer wheel cut. It's going to probably be at least three sixteenths thick, maybe a quarter inch thick, and then down there at the bottom, I'm probably going to round that edge off down in here on both sides, so it has a little clearance. But I think it's pretty good, and I'm going to leave this video there. So have a good one.